I, I feel like that the spirit left me for 20 plus years. It was with me. But when did you I feel forced, like it left you? <clears throat> I'm trying to get it back for some reason, find out exactly what I was doing. Yeah, what what's I'm asking wrong you, with me to go ahead. No, I don't mean to catch you because I want to. When do you feel like the spirit left you? Uh, about maybe three, four weeks ago. No. See, this is where you're deceived. That's why I asked you the question. This is where Satan is playing with your mind. Brother, you know those when the Holy Spirit leaves do not care about the Spirit or God and never look back and desire God. The fact that you're here is proof he hasn't left you because you're going by emotions. And when you go by emotions, that's where Satan deceives you. And the fact that I don't see it or is what? That's where Satan has deceived you because... The Bible says you are a fool and stupid if you trust in your heart. Proverbs 28, 26. Here it is. Proverbs 28, 26. Here, right in front of you. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool. See, that's what you just did. See, I, I don't feel the spirit. Who told you it's about feeling? Because. You're deceived because Satan deceived you. That's what I'm trying to get you to wake up. You understand a sign of the spirit abandoning as a person. You know, you know what the clear sign is? No, they could give a damn about the things of God. They don't care about the things of God. They don't care about the Bible. It's a joke. They hate Christianity. That's how, you know, the spirit has abandoned someone. The fact that you're worried about it means he hasn't abandoned you because if he did, you wouldn't even care about it. Why are you going spirit, by? The day that I turned uh, back into a Christian was the day that the spirit, uh, I actually, God spoke to me, so. Exactly. But if he had given up upon on you, he, would, he wouldn't speak to you and you wouldn't be here. What are you talking That's the wrong attitude. That's the thing is I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with how to fix myself and how I'm to go forward. The Bible just yeah. told you. Because you yeah. trust in your thoughts and your feelings. And second guess them at all times. And Jesus said, stop. You got to trust my word, not how you feel. Mm. The Lord is telling you, stop trusting in your thoughts, in your mind. Here, Proverbs 20, 26, right in front of you. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but he who walks wisely will escape. You don't go by what you think. You go by God's wisdom revealed to you and trust him even though you don't feel. Because it's not about feeling. It's discipline. It's about marriage. I'm going to give you an example again for about marriage because that's what the Bible says here. I'm going to show you here Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6. Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart. You see? Trust God with your thoughts and your will and your desires, not in your own thoughts. Trust Him. Submit to Him. Surrender your thoughts to Him. And do not lean on your own understanding. That's what you just did. You went by how you felt and thought. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Brother, one of the greatest tools of Satan is to get you to think and feel you're abandoned by God. It can never be because I accepted him and Jesus into my heart. So then you cannot go by how you feel. You got to go by his word and trust him. 